wanted to do the theme today of outside the box, it was really to think outside the box, to not do the normal. But as it turned out, all the projects turned out to be a box. Even Candace J made a box out of a box. My first project is on a box and it's doing a butterfly out of brown bag, which is the old Mama uh, Aline technique, which is burnt brown bag and it's so much fun. Take a look. Today I'm using the Aline's Original Tacky Glue. It's the one that I recommend for this technique. I'm also using brown bag. And I have my pattern that I've drawn on one side. And then I turn it over and put some glue on the inside. And for this project I like to squeegee it on. I just use like an old credit card or some cardboard. And then I put an 18 gauge wire inside. Make sure that it, your wire lines up where it doesn't go beyond your cutting line. And then you cut it out. And now we're ready to put the glue on to start the burning process. You need a candle. And I'm using like an emergency candle or a plumber's candle. It seems to have a higher flame. Put the glue right onto the cutout and make sure you put enough glue to cover up all the, the brown bag because it's actually the glue that you're burning. Need a little bit more. Now you put it right into the flame. Whoops, let's get a little bit more right there. See how that edge has a little bit. Put it right into the flame. And it's it's not really in the flame, it's just right above the flame. Just keep it going back and forth. Keep it moving all the time. And you'll see, see how it turns black. You want to do the whole thing. And then just keep looking at it. You can see these spots here. And you'll know when it's completely done, when it's all black. See, I have a little bit more glue there, so we're going to put that back in. Oops. And that means I put it into the right into the candle flame. And it, so it'll always snuff it out if you put it right into the candle flame. And there we have our butterfly. Now you can, at this point, you can, you can either let it dry, or if you're in a hurry, <laughs> you want to see the results. You can take a paper towel and just very carefully push some lines in. Just push the glue is still a little bit wet, and that'll give you a little bit more texture. See how all that really cool textures in there. Now I do let it dry at this point. And then I have one here that's dry. And then what you're going to do is to wipe off the soot. It's black. And just wipe it off. And you can see, see that really cool texture? 
Now next I take, I happen to use Rub and Buff. It's a, um, a paste. And I just use a little bit on my finger and just rub it right over the raised area that I've created with burning the glue. Need a little bit more. Now remember, this is a paste. You could also probably do it with a with a acrylic um, gold. I happen to like this one. Isn't that cool? Now let's take a look. Oh, before we do that, let's put on. I have some little ant antennas. I also made some um, antennas out of a uh, wire, so you would glue that right on underneath part. Let's take a look at the box. Here's where I, you do the same thing with the box, and it's just a little box like this. You put the glue all over it, just like I did, wipe it, let it set, wipe it off. I put some little spirals of wire, and here's the butterfly. Now on this particular one, I did use the wire, and I just rolled it over an, uh, a pen, and then that raised it up above. I put a hole in the top of the box, and then I glued it in. So it makes a really cool uh, raised and it kind of moves a little bit. Now also I wanted a little bit more uh, just a different technique on here. I just paper punched it to give it some um, different look. And that's all there is to it to make your burnt brown bag butterfly box.